not all comics died here by any means. Some of them did very, very well indeed. This gentleman here did. Sid Field. Now, he toured the Wearside pubs before he opened, not to give him the courage to go on, but to listen to the customers to make sure he got the accent exactly right. Well, I suppose the North East really had no need to import comics because they had some great ones here over the years. Jimmy Learmouth, Ernie Lottinger, and this fella here. Wee Georgie Wood from Jarrow. Now, he started his career, believe it or not, at the age of eight. And he rose to become the smallest top of the bill in music hall all over the world. And he stayed there for 50 years. Now, practically, his last appearance in Sunderland was as a very old man, and he came here to open the music hall museum. And he used to tell how he was staying in his hotel on the morning of the opening of the museum, and a taxi driver came to pick him up. The taxi driver said, uh, what are you doing today, Mr. Wood? He said, I'm opening a museum. He said, blimey, you're taking a chance, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> but in the 30s, a lad from Stockton on Tees made his debut here, Jimmy James, the great Jimmy James. Well, tonight we've got his old sparring partner, Eli Woods, and Jimmy James' son, Jim Casey, to show us just what his dad did. <laughs> Sorry, hold it. That's not, that's not the kid's music. It's the wrong music. What the kid wants is a fast moving piece. <laughs> and get one for me while you're at it. <laughs> no, you see, that was ballet. And it, he do, the ballet music, he doesn't do the ballet now. No, not since he had the accident doing the Nutcracker Suite. <laughs> I brought the tears to your eyes, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, tonight he is here as the sexy singer. Come on, come on, come on, come in the no, yard, come on, come on. No, no. Wait for it. Oh. Now, how can I describe his voice? It's a sort of uh, mixture of Elton John, Rod Stewart and Barry Manilow, all rolled into one, with just a touch of Dolly Parton. <laughs> Man, that's only slight. Now, you see, I'm, where, where, mm, I, I'm versatile. Pardon? I'm versatile. Your private life has nothing to do with that. <laughs> Listen, take it easy in the splits. Don't go down too far in the splits. As soon as you feel a draft, pack up. <laughs> go to six fell on uh, gate. I'll give you the tic tac when to start. Take it easy. What, the, what are you rushing about for? Oi! Am I all right this way? Hon? Am I all right this way? Well, you should just as well that way as any other way, I suppose, yes. <laughs> no, no, am I on the right road? Oh, definitely, yes. Did somebody say you weren't on the right road? Yes. Take no notice, you're well on your way. <laughs> You've only got one more bend to go round and you're there. <laughs> Look, I don't want any trouble with you. I've had enough bother with Eli here. I mean, I've given up a smashing job to put him on the stage, you know. I was the head chipster at my Uncle Joe's fried fish shop. You're not talking to a mug, you know. You're talking to the champion chipster of Europe. Eight years running, chipping champion. I beat Steve Davis twice. <laughs> He's a fair snooker player, dead mug at the chipping. Oh, yes. Mind you, I used to cheat in the championships. I used to use King Edward's potatoes. You're not supposed to. No, you see, King Edward's potatoes have got no eyes. They can't see the chopper coming down. You get more chips. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. I'll, t I'll tell you a funny... <laughs> Somebody come on in. Look, I'm talking to you. You're not interested, are you? You don't care. You don't care about anything. You don't care about the government, whether they get in or out. Or, or... Was it you who put them in? No. Are you sure? Yes. Well, it was somebody like you, then. <laughs> there's, there's a... There's a... If he comes on again, grab him. <laughs> there's, a, there's a knack in this chipping, and I can tell you, I know you won't let it go any further. No, you see, you get hold of the potato on the block, and you get hold of the handle, and it's on, pull, chop, on, pull, chop, on, only get your fingers out quick. Get your fingers out, otherwise you'll think you've got more chips than you've chopped. <laughs> you can see them, bad chipsters, hundreds, all over the country, walking them out. <laughs> Too late, you see, getting them out. You can always tell a bad chipster. He walks into a pub, he says, four pints, forget it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell... 
I think it's Ronnie Corbett going through your legs. <laughs> Listen, the job I'm after, though, is the batter in the fish. There's nothing to it. See, you, he's, he thinks it's funny, don't he? <laughs> you get all of the tail end of the fish, and there's the fat, you see, and it's just in, out, sling, in, out, sling. Only you've got to be careful you're not out when you should be slinging, you know. In, out, sling, in, oh, and be careful of the jerk back, your elbow. Because you could finish up with a bent elbow for life. That's what they call the batter's elbow. And when you're walking out, people get a wrong idea about you. <laughs> I, I was coming back, you needn't have bothered. Oh, there's another danger. You are going in for this, aren't you? The other danger is the hot fat can fly out in your eye and cause what they call the permanent wink. And if you get the permanent wink in the batter's elbow, you've had it. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, if... Oh, he's back. He's been shopping. He, it's fish, isn't it? You can smell it, can you? What's in the bag? Is it fish? Eh? Hey? Is it fish? Oh. Well, it's you, then. <laughs> All right, if I sing my song now that, that I wrote myself. Yes, he wrote this on the back of a donkey, you know. Why are you do it? Yes, you, you can sing your song. <coughs> <coughs> do you want to lie down for a minute before you start? <laughs> She was sitting at the seaside getting brown, brown, brown And the tide was coming up, up, up She had no one to guide her as she gathers crabs and welts And she fell in love with the first boy scout she met Oh, was well, she blue, cha-cha! <laughs> Look, uh, I'll get the key for this song. Could you give us a touch of on the piano? Just the... the game of the... It's a bit out, that, isn't it? You better get that fixed before Joseph Locke comes back here. That's it, that's the one. That's it. It was a night. Oh, such a night it was, really was. Such a night. Seen and do. Oh, what a night it was, really was such a night. The night was alive with stars above. And when she kissed me, I'd fall in love. It was kiss. Oh, what a kiss it was, really was such a kiss. How she could kiss. Oh, what a kiss it was, really was such a kiss. That blow the night takes me a fire. Fuck <laughs> you!